Good evening everyone. Welcome back to Excel User Series 2.2 video number 6. Today the topic is not a comparison. It's a topic that I'm going to introduce for the first thing for us. And today we are going to see the database function in Excel. We are going to do a D sum function. Again, I didn't explore this much. So I'm just learning it for the very first time and I'm trying to apply it. So I felt there is a little, little bit of a glitch that I saw in this particular formula, which I may not be able to uh, substantiate or say that it is a glitch. But as of now, when I try to work with this particular formula, it's not a small glitch, but again, uh, it is doing a wonderful job. So what I may not be able to achieve it in a sum if and sum ifs, I'm achieving that in a range of data using a D sum function. We have a lot of D function in Excel, D count, counter, average, D get. A lot is there. So our series will be going through those formulas too. But today I'm just starting with the very simple formula called D sum. And I'm going to use a new dimension and I'm, I'm trying to put two complex entity into one. Today I'm going to create a data validation which is dependent data validation. I'm going to create two data validation. The second data validation is going to be a part of my first data validation. Here I'm going to use another function in here called indirect function. So I'm, I'm trying a lot in one video. Maybe this video is a little bigger. You may have to play more than once to understand it. But this is I felt it is very nice after a long time and giving up very good video. So let's see how to do that. So I have a data right now. So when I jump to my working sheet, here I see a data. So what I want right now is I want a profit of a product and I can see that I have an invoice number coming up here. And my products, my spec, my color, my cost price, selling price, and my profit. When I work with the DSM, I say I felt that DSM has some glitches here and there. So when I try to uh, add Apple 11, and it is also taking Apple 11 Pro in consideration. So when I try to do a product here, it is not giving me the right answer. But when I pick up a spec or a color, it is giving you the right answer. So what I want right now is I want to add the spec and color as one data validation. So when I pick up that, it should pick the other data related to these data should also come to me. So that's what I'm going to do. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take these two columns, copy it, and I'm going to come down here. I'm going to say pay special and transpose it so that my row data will become a column. So I'm going to just remove the bold and underline and I'm going to call this as data list. So I'm not giving a space in between because I want to add this as a name manager. And I want to add two more columns here. So I want to pick up the spec and the specification of the color. And I'm going to remove all the duplicates in these two columns. So I'm going to select the specification separately and I'll go back to my data, remove duplicates. I'm going to cut and say, please remove the duplicate only for the specification column. And it's going to remove the list for me. Then I'm going to just remove the colors if it is multiple times available. So we'll remove the colors. Again, continue the current selection. Remove duplicate in this list. So now I have the list coming up here. So when I deal with the data list, so that's going to be my list on top. So I'm going to just mark it like this data list. And the other data. So this is what I'm going to do. So here I'm going to create a data list here. So before I create a data list, I want to give a name manager to each and every data point here. So I'm going to select this point and I'm going to create a name manager here. So I can do that as it is a continuous data. So I can just select the whole data. Then I can go back to my formula. I can say create from selection. So I'm going to just pick up the top row alone and I give an OK. It's going to give me three different 
name manager here so we're going to click it it's, it's giving me a specification so let me edit this and see this okay it's perfect and now i want to just go back and check the color edit this list it is also perfect and i want to check the data list edit but it is taking a lot of data here but i have only few data here okay let me just uh, rename it to the first two projects here so i have an uh, then i'm going to give an okay then i have an mb gt so i don't know what is this i'm going to delete that and i have a test mb gt so i'm going to delete that too. and i have entire data so i'm going to delete that too. so now i can see that I have only three <coughs> major path. I already had some more IBD so I removed what is the unwanted data that we had I removed all of them. So when I come down to this list so I can see the part. Perfect. Now I'm going to create a data validation for the data list here. I just kept a line in here so that I can say that it is from data list. So I'm going to give all DL then I'm going to follow a list and then I'm going to call the name manager. So I'm going to see data list. Okay. And okay. Now we can see that it is going to give you the spec and the color for me. What I want is when I select spec, it should select the spec specification column. I select color here. It is going to call, choose my color column. That is what we call it as dependent data validation. So now I'm going to just come back to this point to create a dependent data validation. After creating the first data validation, I'm going to use the indirect function. So I'll come down to the other data. I'm going to just say Alt DL again. I'm going to create another list, but this list is going to come by indirect function. The indirect function is going to fetch the data from the above cell. So close the bracket and give it OK. Now we can see all the colors are going to be listed here. And if I switch this to specification, so now the data validation is going to give you the specification. So, but again, the specification is also having a lot of blanks here. So let me just go back to my uh, spec and I'm going to convert this even to the list of data because I'm giving the whole list here. So I'm closing this. So now it's going to pick up the first four part of it. So now I'm going to use the database function called dsum. So dsum is one of the finest formula as of I've used. So I have three different logics here. So if I am using an assembly for a counter, so uh, my ranges has to be specific. So I have to pick up a right column to pick up the right answer. But when I go for a database, when I go for a dsum, I'm going to take whole data and functions. So I'm going to just pick up the whole data in here and then I'm going to log them F4 absolute cell reference and when I want to come down to the field I'm going to say what do you want to find out right now. So I'm going to find out the profit. So when I use a control A I don't want to give the double quotes here for the profits. The system picks the double quotes automatically and it's asking you what is the configuration or what is the criteria that you want to do. I want to see wherever we have a 128 specification, I want total profit of that product. So I don't mind whether it is from Apple 11, Apple 11 Pro or 11 Pro Max. Wherever my specification is 128 GB of data, I want to get the consolidated profit of that particular specification. So now I'm going to give an OK. So when I do that, automatically gives you a value. Let me check. I've added a subtotal on top of our list to check whether my answer is right. So I'm going to filter out the 128 list. You can see that the valuation is perfect. When I tried this with a product, I didn't get the right answer. I was my answer was a little jumbled. That's why I use only the two column here, the specification and the color. So let me just change this to another another point. Now I'm going to pick up the color here. And when I come down here, I can just say midnight green. So I'm going to just clear all my add all my list in the color part I'm going to pick up and green you can see the answers are matching it. 
to make it even more interesting so i'm going to just select these two column and going to add a conditional formatting whether these two answer is right please color them so i'm going to color them based on the list so that i can literally see the answers are falling in place perfectly so now i'm going to just remove it so let me take a specification and let me take 64 gb it's going to give you the answer there if my answer is right then it's going to show me the color green yes it is so my d function does this job beautifully but when i try to add the product i didn't see the right answer sometimes the answer was a little pathetic probably i'm not maybe right when i use the content because i'm using similar kind of a product but the slight variance is in it the system still picks up the product on a whole but when i have a multiple data logics i can see the differences here if i do a product right now my apple pro max answers is coming correctly but when i work with apple 11 the answer is not that great probably i'll do one more video on the product alone and i'll see whether we can do the corrections betterly but as of now when i try to do these two logics these two logics are giving me a phenomenal and a perfect answer for me so now i'm just taking the space gray and you can see my answers are coming following it is i am using a some if and some ifs if i can able to use because now i'm using only one condition here i can use two conditions also here so the database is going to work and it's going to give you whatever you want so you can see that giving you a list here so i can pick up more than one criteria here so i can put multi criteria to get my answer to if i have more than one condition to talk about i can still do that so this database function is going to change our life a little bit differently but again please use them wisely i felt the product font is not giving me the right answer but when i use this pick and color it is pick and find i am getting the right answer and i am not selecting a particular column here i am selecting a whole database you can pick up any data that you want and you can get a multi dimensional data part here i just improvised it by adding a dependent database with it so that i can pick up anything everything and any dimensions any colors here and it really give me the best of the best out of it if you learned it today we covered four topics in a single point again i've done everything at a little pacey way so play this video more than one time and understand how i did it if you want me to break up this name manager separately and data validation separately i will do one more video for you please comment about your requirement i will definitely do a separate data validation video so that you understand how a dependent data validation works even better without a name manager this is vinod signing out from excel user 2.0 series this is video number 6 on the first database function in excel from excel academy and from vinod stay safe stay at home stay updated subscribe to the channel and you going to get a lot of new dimensions a lot of new varieties and i'm planning for a complete d functions to be cleared in my subsequent videos probably my next video might be in d get or d average function so let me work on it we have a lot of time to fulfill this weekend so i'll fulfill it and uh, don't miss my video series number 3 4 and 5 starting with the basic logics of power pivot and power query excel exams on 2016 basic and expert and excel exam on 2019 basic or associate and expert examination so a lot of video following this week for us at least seven videos in excel snippet your youtube channel bare minimum rather so i'm planning to put seven more video after this enjoy it keep learning keep updating every week you are getting to learn something or the other 
newly. A bare minimum of two formulas a week at least and probably when we are working on the examination part we will be learning more. Thank you so much for watching. This is Vinod signing out on Excel snippet your video number six. Thank you so much.